Beatrice Gakeri and Njenga Pemba are a couple living with mental health illness. They have been married for six months now. Special, special unit. Jenga's father, Francis Pemba, tells us that his son, who was born dumb, wanted to get married as he approached 30 years and asked his family to look for a wife for him. Sasa kwenda kuambia msichana, nataka wewe uleona kijana angu, wakine wakwa wanataka. Wanasama jenga, miu siwasi waleona nani, siwasi waleona jenga. Kwa nini? Kwa jiri walikuwa naona, siyo 100%. Sasa nikajikuwa jukumu, mungu wakakuja. Huyu lakari ya kakuja hapa wachangazi yake. Sa hili ya likuja, akasema nataka buwana, buwana atapanya ya kasi, buwana kunyi pombe, kijana muokofu. Sasa hili ya likuja, tuka damana. He recalls the night his son got married. He got a mental breakdown. Juu ya diona watu wengi na hii furaha ikazidi. Amesema alikuwa anasema anastuka. Kaanza vituko. Kupiga mfiombo, kupiga viti. Hata TV yangu aliharibu aligonga ikaharibika. On the other side, Gakeri, his wife's mental condition makes her speak too much when in good or bad moods. Niambia tufanye harusi nikubali tu nitunisikizana. Yetu tisikizana, yetu tisikizana nimesema nitafanya tu harusi tukae tukae nyumba moja na yeye. Sasa hizi fanya kitu, yeye nilikuwa anafanya tu ile ni kazi ya kufuria watu nguo, kuchoteana maji, kufuriana manguo. Kuenda hapo na oshayana vyombo wananiripa na kuenda makibaruwa kaka kungua maragwe. Elizabeth Sempere, a close neighbor, says the couple has had to rely on their parents as they cannot work. Tukieza pata mtu wakuja kumsaidia kuongea na signs, ili hata akienda mbeleza mtu, akishindwa kutamuka neno, aonge kwa mikono, itakuwa heri. At the Narok County Referral Hospital, where Beatrice and Nyanga frequent, Dr. Ivy Womboy says she handles over 10 cases of suicide attempt every week, noting that most of her clients are between the ages of 12 and 80 years. She is further calling on the community to treat persons with mental issues with love and consideration and provide help when need be so that they can feel part of the society. As long as there is social support, from the parents, from the community, there is acceptance. You take them as they are. You know their shortfalls. You know these are people who cannot go and become very much economically stable. Give them the financial support. Give them the social support at home. And then uh, with medication, they come to a level where they are a bit stable. According to the World Health Organization, over 25% of children in Kenya suffer from various forms of mental illness, a majority of whom are female, particularly under 12 years of age. And it is also an opportunity for all those who are already having depression and anxiety to seek medical attention and even seek help. So, tunambia mzazi kwamba ikiwa mtoto amekuja akatafautiana na wewe, kiakili, muitie yoyote ile kama ni shangazi, Mwitia yote ili kama ni mamu wa kanisa, waongeleshe umtoto. Tujua kwamba, je, hizo kilizake sitapungua kwa lingana na hali ambapo hamelekezo. The statistics have been majorly attributed to early pregnancies in the society, often accompanied by early parenthood and stigmatization from community members. Robi Omondi, K24.